Hello my friends, I am again here with another brand new live trading session. Today I am going to play some live trade with the help of pure candlestick psychology. The pure candlestick psychology is only the way to predict the next candle perfectly. I can guarantee you that no one will share such hidden tips with you. But I want to spread my knowledge that I gather over the 12 years of practical analysis. As you know that I do not use any indicator because the indicator will confuse you instead. To make you understand the candlestick psychology, I have uploaded about 250 different type of videos on my channel with the proper analysis along with live trading. If you have any problem to summarize after watching all these videos, you don't need to worry about it. Because I made three different type of training course for you. The complete course of educational videos, the expert version of learning course, the sure sort of training course. I will never ask you for any course unless you feel. But if you want to learn quickly and efficiently or you are struggling with daily trading, then you can collect any of the learning course based on your trading result. Don't think too much for the small fees. Believe me, it's nothing compared with even on the trading result. Anyways, there will get recorded lesson for lifetime use. I also provide real-time support for 24-7 when needed. You can contact me on Telegram if you are really interested. The contact details given in the video description below. But before that, think yourself, is this really needed or not? If you are new to the channel, don't feel shy or hesitate to subscribe because you have option to unsubscribe anytime you want. But if you respect others, then definitely it will bounce back to you. Let's begin to main topic. Okay, so this is OTC market. So you have to focus little extra than the live market. And you know every week the OTC concept is little different. You have to remember this. Okay, I'll try to go with sellers. If I have little good price. Like this. Okay, I think I'm going to miss this trade. But no need to worry. I was waiting to move the candle a little above. No problem. I will have another chance here. As you can see the market is downtrend. So I think we can follow the market movement. Okay, there is small gap. So let me wait for a few seconds. Okay, there is some buyers, but I think at the end the sellers will enter. Okay. I'm going to place here lawyer option. I have placed here lawyer option because there is gap to the level and market is downtrend. But I think I'm going to lose my first hit. Let's see what happened here. Maybe the market is going to make double bottom pattern here. Let's see what happened. Okay, it's like that I have on my trade because of the entry point so entry point is very important and after this candle no it's not good to trade because this is used buying pressure due to this buying pressure there can be buyers or still there is gap so there can be some sellers too Now let me check some, okay, sellers entry finally. Now this is not good market. And let me draw the level first. 
I think I'm going to have an opportunity here. Okay, see, not in seller's entry, but at then buyer's entry. So I think the market is trying to move off and this is now double bottom pattern. Okay, there is gap down. You can see you have to check each and everything while trading because this is closing price and this is opening price. So there is huge gap. Let me check all the pairs first then. Okay. I'll have an opportunity here. This is the market movement. Okay, so the market is going down gradually. Now let's see how the candle is for, okay, there is some buyer, so. There, there I have seen some buyers, so. Okay, this is risky, but I'm going with buyers because I have found some buyers in this candle. So I'm expecting this candle will reject from the lawyer side. Though this is not good to trade on uh, OTC especially, but this is good for live trading on the live market. Okay, buyers entering, but as I told you, this is OTC market. so. Try to follow that trend mostly. Okay, this is not good pair, so I'm going to close this. Let me focus this. I suppose to win this trade because I found some buyers here. Now finally I'm going to lose this trade. Okay, no problem. Finally, I have lost this trade and this is very bad, but I'm going to increase my amount here and I'm going to place a lawyer option. Why I have placed lawyer option? You don't need to worry while market is moving suddenly. I have placed here lawyer option because as we can see, this is seller's level. Let me draw the level. Okay, as we can see, this is seller's level. Up to this level, we had some gap here. And this is strong buyer's entry. Due to this gap, we have another buyer's entry. But this candle has some sellers too, on the lawyer side. So this candle has sellers from upper side. This candle has sellers, lawyer side, candle close, lower than this previous high. And this is level. Therefore, I just place here lawyer option, okay. It's a winning trade and I have already recovered these losses because it was actually bad luck that I lost my previous trade here. Okay, so after that there is buyers, no problem. I found some buyers but I lost this trade because of OTC market and okay. So I think I'm going to have an opportunity here. Let me check this level. This is not a level, but this is a level. Because from here we have seller's entry. Let me check the left side. Yes, this is very good level. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to place here higher option. This is very strong sellers, but still I have placed here higher option. Why? Because sellers enter from here. Sellers enter from this level. As, as I have said that left side, there is level, a strong level here. Strong level. And the candle got reject from this level. It means sellers are here. But the candle close here. Okay, candle close here. From where we have strong buying, buying force. Therefore, I just place here higher option. 
okay so i think i think i am going to face another loss yes finally lo losing trade see if you check this rejection see after this strong rejection we have buyers entry strong buyers entry and this is not a reversal candle rather than we can consider this is continuation candle so okay i'm not worry about this loss because i can recover this loss very easily if you have confident what you are doing then you don't need to worry okay let me draw the level now this is now you sellers so i am searching for good candle okay i will place here 100 dollars again i have placed here 100 dollars because this is marubuzu candle the previous candle has seller entry and market is going down this is actual level this is the actual level so market will try to reach this level therefore i just double my account amount here and i think i'm going to win this trade too but actually this is bad luck okay now let me check here yeah this it was perfect trade for me so yes i have on this trade you can see very strong sellers it's an engulfing candle this is marubuzu candle too but still i placed lower option instantly because this is good trade for me and i have already told the reason okay so i knew see this strong rejection from upper side you don't consider this is seller entry see this is a strong rejection but again buyer entry this is also a strong rejection but buyer strike but as the trend is down so we have seller sent this is a strong rejection and huge strong candle by the sellers but see this is green candle so don't think that rejection means sellers will enter okay it's supposed to good trade for lower option but overall trend is an uptrend so i'll not place any trade here but this is good good for lower option let me back to the previous amount so i have two loss but in this instantly i just recovered every loss because here i have uh, lost 50 dollars then i placed here 100 dollars and both the trade win so there is no loss now it should be sellers but as the otc market so we need to understand the concept otc concept oh shit okay i'll place trade if i have chance here like little above because the market will try to go down now i need to wait to close this candle see i was waiting but now i will not place trade why because already it got reject from lawyer side and trying to move up so i'll not place trade in this candle
okay sellers finally see market is moving quite faster okay i think i'm going to have an opportunity here it got trizek but now this is the level this is the level every candle getting rejection rejection so let me observe the candle first then i'll try to go with sellers this is now three buyers candle okay it's a level it's a level but i'll not place trade in this candle because there is no level and this is the level again so there is gap there can be small green candle something like this or maybe like this candle and in this situation Sometimes we can place double trade like on is higher option and on is lower option But the lower option should be little above than the opening price and higher option should be little lower than the opening price Sometimes the candle can be close like doji or a small candle something as I told you something like this So if you place higher option here and lower here, so both that trade you will do it Okay, so at the end finally seller entry okay see very small candle so it happens most of the time and this is not good time to place trade here okay this is round numbers so it would be better if i had observed this candle no buyers will enter okay after that we can go with buyers i think because the left side does not have any sellers level from here we have buyers let me check no there is no level okay so so here see after opening the candle we can see pressure from opposite side like sellers are entering so they are not giving time to place the trade okay the level has been break but if the level break directly then we can go with sellers now we can't go with sellers because already we have some strength from the buyers here because there there was some uh, price action by these buyers and sellers so the buyers got force after that we should not expect retrace candle lot of traders asking sometimes when the market will retrace the level see this time the market mostly it will not respect it will not retrace because before breaking the level we have some sellers okay see it was not retest candle but some of traders will think okay the level has been broken by the strong candle so they they are going to place here lower option in this candle but this is wrong because before breaking the level we have sellers entry so in this situation the sellers will not enter after this breakout maybe now the sellers can enter but immediately this candle sellers will not enter i have discussed each and everything on my training course so if you want to know more details then you can collect the training course based on your trading results or based on your level okay so as this is otc market and the candle is not working as i am expecting also the time is not good because late night so i think it's better to stop 
because I already faced two losses. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back soon with another great lesson. Till then, take care. Thanks.